Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another first impressions on a foundation and that foundation I am doing today is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. Um, I actually have never heard of this before. I was just walking around Walmart um, when I was on my little vacay and I saw this and I was like, I'm going to give it a go because why not? I really like foundation. I like playing around with foundation. So we'll just see how this one works. If you guys watched my last foundation first impressions, the Wet n Wild um, coverall foundation, um, if, you guys, if you guys saw that review, I really wasn't that fond of it. So I wanted to try something out with like similar packaging just to, I don't know why, just cause I'm kind of weird like that. But I haven't tried it out again, so I don't know if it's like better for me or anything. But hopefully this one works out a little bit better than the last foundation that we tried. CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is the Fresh Complexion. It's an oil-free foundation and I got the shade 115, which is buff beige. So here's just a close-up of what the packaging looks like. You get one full ounce of foundation in this bottle and I'm sorry my nails look absolutely horrible. I'm sorry about that. Alright, so I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. I don't have anything on my face. I just washed it and then about a half hour ago I put on just a little bit of moisturizer um, but it's pretty much all sunk in so we shouldn't have an issue. So I'm just going to shake this up a little bit just to kind of move the product around and I'll probably just apply it to the back of the cap. I don't know if this color is going to match me. I just kind of held the bottle up to my hand like that and was like, oh, that's a good fit. So we'll see if it looks that way on my face. Okay, so it's really, um, it really has like a tiny opening. So, I mean, you have a lot of control as to how much foundation you want. I'm just going to do about that much for now. Um, it does kind of have a perfumey scent. It smells like a CoverGirl foundation. If you've ever had a CoverGirl foundation before, it smells literally just like that. So um, that's not bad. That smell doesn't bother me, but I know it would bother some people. Uh, the consistency isn't too runny. Okay, so the bottle says it's a one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tone and reduces shine all day. So I guess it's supposed to reduce shine. I have basically the most oily face in the entire world so we'll have to see if that's true but it is oil free it says it doesn't clog pores and it's suitable for sensitive skin me again and according to this it lasts all day so let's go ahead and just take this little bit um, I'll zoom you in a little bit more okay it doesn't feel too heavy um, not as heavy as the wet and wild one that I tried last time and it looks like the color should fit um, just fine my skin is actually a little bit on the dry side today. That's not like me. Usually my skin's like super oily, so my skin does feel a little bit dry. Hopefully that doesn't affect the foundation. I would wear a primer, but you guys don't like when I wear primers when I do these first impressions. So um, I'm just going to use just a foundation brush today, and then if I feel like using a beauty blender later, I will go ahead and do that. But for now, I think I'm just going to see how it looks blended out with just a regular brush. Alright, so I'm noticing it's blending out a lot easier than the last foundation that I tried. And just with the one layer, I am getting pretty good coverage. And the color is a good fit. Like, the color matches pretty good, if you can kind of see the comparison there. So that looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm pretty actually happy with this coverage, but I am going to put on, like I always do, another layer just to see how... Um, how it's going to look over top if you were to build it up to kind of get like a full coverage. It doesn't say if this is a full coverage foundation. It does feel a little bit tacky, but nothing like horrible. And finish, I would probably say maybe like a semi-matte. Um, I wouldn't say like completely matte, but it is, it is pretty matte looking in my opinion. Then again, I'm not like an expert on that sort of stuff, so maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I don't really know, but to me right now it looks um, super matte. So. Okay, so here's what the first layer looks like um, all blended in onto my skin. As you can see, obviously you're still going to see a little bit of the blemishes. I am going to put on a second layer just to see how it looks. Okay, and I'm actually going to use a beauty blender for this part just to kind of help moisturize my skin a little bit because it was feeling just a tad bit dry, so this should help. I really like how easily this foundation blends out. Like, it's really not like an effort. Like, I don't have to like, you know, really try to blend it. It really just goes really nice. It 
another thing I'm noticing is if you are someone who has like super dry skin, this foundation is not going to be for you because my since my skin is just a little bit dry today, I am noticing it clinging to some of the um, like some of the dry patches, which is fine. That'll go away as soon as like my face oil starts to kick in. But other than that, I I like how it's blending out. It's blending out really smooth and it does have pretty good coverage so I'm really happy with that and the color looks really good it looks a lot darker in the tube than it does on the actual skin alright so now that it's all blended out I definitely I think I really like it you can still kind of see my redness but that's just that's just bound to happen I do have a little um, slight case of rosacea so my cheeks are always going to be red to some degree okay so I have absolutely no concealer on my face I just have two pumps of the ready set gorgeous foundation by CoverGirl. So here's what my face looks like. So as you can see, just a little bit of the redness still, and you can see it kind of clinging to certain spots on my face. But yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with, you know, how it applied. Let me know what you guys think at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup, which I guess I can do on camera. Do you guys like when I do that? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like when I do my face makeup on camera, or would you rather just have me come back and do checkups? I don't know. Let me know, but I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup. If you want to skip ahead, go ahead. That's fine. I'm going to stick with the CoverGirl theme today, and I'm just going to use this CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. This is just in the shade 115. You can get this stuff anywhere. It's like my all-time favorite loose powder. I've been using this since like freshman year. It's like one of my holy grails loose powders so I'm just gonna use this mineral powder brush by Sephora just gonna pack that and I really don't need much powder today just because this foundation already is pretty matte but it will come in handy later when my face oils start to kick in because I guarantee by the time I come and do a checkup we're gonna have some shine which this foundation claims to be keeps you shine free so we're just gonna have to go ahead and test that. Now I'm just going to bronze my face a little bit. I'm just going to be using my Physicians Formula City Glow Bronzer. I'm not going to do any like crazy contouring or anything. I'm just going to kind of bronze and warm up my face just to kind of get um, just to kind of get a nice glow. So as you can see, it just kind of adds warmth to the face. So it's kind of, I'm kind of like putting it where you would put blush, but this is going to add more or less of a warmth rather than like a rosy cheek kind of appearance. That's just kind of where I like to bronze because I don't really like to contour that much because one, I'm not very good at it. And two, it's just not necessary for an everyday thing. Like I'm not trying to like sculpt my face for the public, you know, <laughs> I don't know. But this is basically just where I like to bronze. It adds like the perfect warmth to the face. Because when you just have like the foundation and the powder on, you kind of just look dead. You know? I think I'm going to stick with Drugstore and I think I'm going to use the Maybelline uh, Master Highlight by Face Studio. And this is um, in Pink Rose. I absolutely love these things. If you do not own one of these yet, seriously go out and buy yourself one because it's amazing. This one is like a blush highlighter duo. So when you kind of like apply it to your cheeks, you're getting that rosy cheek look. And you're also getting a little bit of the shine from the highlight in this as well. It's just amazing and perfect. I love it. So on my e.l.f. blush brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Kind of getting an even amount of everything, tapping off the excess, smiling and just applying it right there. And this is like super, super pigmented for drugstore, so it's really, really good stuff. And I'm really just like kind of like a little mini update on the foundation. I'm really liking how it looks. Like my face looks super flawless as I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know if it looks any different on camera or anything, but... Like right just in front of me, it looks really good. So I'm really happy with it. Okay, so here is the finished look of my face. It looks super flawless. Like I'm actually really happy with this. Like, I don't know, I'm really happy with the way my skin is going today. It's really good. Um, it's very different for me because since it was a little bit dry, that's not what I'm used to. So it's kind of like, whoa, whoa, Brie. I'm just gonna zoom in and show you what my face looks like. And then I'm going to go film few more videos today and do checkups throughout the day. So here's a close up. Currently quarter after 12 right now. So I will come back in a few hours and do checkups. So far I like it and I will see you guys in just one second. 
Hey guys, so it is now quarter after three, so it has been exactly three hours since I put on the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation by CoverGirl. Um, so I just thought I would come in and kind of do like a three hour check in. Um, if you see how it's like really bright on me, there is a storm coming and it looks it looks beastly. So that's why. It's not like 8 o'clock at night or anything, but it certainly looks like it outside. Um, but yeah, it is quarter after 3, so it's been 3 hours, and as you can see, I do have a little bit of a shine. However, it is not as bad as it normally is. Um, like, it's not like as oily as my skin usually gets so so far I think it is doing a pretty okay job as far as like controlling like my oil and things like that so I'm pretty happy with it so far um it doesn't feel tacky like my skin feels pretty good the only thing I'm noticing really is just the little bit of shine there I haven't touched up my skin or anything it doesn't look too cakey either I other than that I'm like pretty happy with it as far as like three hours go like I could still go out and do stuff and leave it like in this condition like it really doesn't look too bad so I'll go ahead and zoom you in and show you kind of like what a close-up looks like okay so here's a close-up of my skin three hours later as you can see there's a little bit of glisten up in like my t-zone area that's what the side of my face looks like yeah, so as you can see, it's rubbed off a little bit, like in this general area, and then it's like a little bit kind of cracked on my nose, but other than that, it looks really good. Okay, so I'll leave this on for a few more hours and do one more check-in before I end the video, but I will be back in a few hours to do my final check-in. Hey guys, so it is now a little bit after 8.30, so I have had this foundation on for um, a little more than 8 hours, about 8 hours and 15 minutes, and it is time for me to go get in the shower and wash everything off. And I haven't done any sort of like touch-ups or anything, and I know the lighting is extremely awful, like it's just awkward. And I don't have my background behind me, which is kind of weird and really annoying, I don't really like it. But, um, I just wanted to come and do this quick update because I'm just about to go get in the shower. But, um... So I am pretty shiny, as you can see, like, obviously it didn't control all the shine, but it doesn't look as bad as it normally would after eight hours, so um, I will give it that. Like, I mean, that's a plus for me. It doesn't look like it's worn off in any other spot. It looks like it's pretty much stayed in place all day. I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you kind of a close-up. Again, I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it's really awkward, but yeah, so let's go ahead and zoom in up on my face. Okay, so a little more than eight hours later. This is what it looks like. God, all my makeup looks like crap. Like, it's just time to come off. Okay, so that's everything that I have for this foundation first impression slash review. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Two big thumbs up for me. I like the way it looked on my skin all day, and even right now, it doesn't look too bad. So, I mean, I could probably get away with doing, like, a powder touch-up, and I would be good to go. So, really happy with this. If you are interested in trying this, I definitely recommend it. I think this was around maybe... Mm, six seven dollars I want to say I'm not 100% sure I can't really remember and I got rid of my receipt like an idiot so everything that I have for this video really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel but until then I will see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys